What's up everybody, today I'm going to be doing a review of the Bicycle White Ghost deck. This deck was, I believe, $7 on Illusionist.com. Or you can get it on Amazon, which is where I got it, same price. US playing card. Air cushion finish. Made in USA. It's one of my favorite boxes of all the, card, the cards I have. It's because of how simple it is, but how cool it still looks. With the uh, spade on the front, and the back of the card is just like any other bicycle. Like that, but white and black. Also has a reveal. Seven diamonds. And... Queen of Hearts. Poker size cards. Alright, so now I'm gonna get to the actual cards. Every deck of Illusions comes with a few advertisement cards, and every deck of cards comes with two jokers. Just one of the advertisement cards. It's pretty much a cool design. It's the heart and the diamond and spade. It says Illusionist, the logo on the top. We have another illusionist card, like a snake illusionist symbol, and two jokers, which actually aren't the same jokers you'll find in a regular bicycle deck. Different. Both jokers are the same. And then we have the regular cards, the hearts and the diamonds are actually red, the pips even if the card is black. So there actually is no red like here in the middle. All the red cards, they're only red right there. Like, for example, here's an average card. Red bicycle. You'll see in the middle it's red. All the pips are red. But on the white ghost only the ones at the top corners are red. The middle ones are all black in the whole deck. Actually makes it look cooler. Let's try to find the face card. These are jack spades. Obviously not going to be red because spades aren't red. So it's just black on black. Pretty much an average. The rest of the deck, besides the fact that the pips are red, it's just an average deck. Of course they handle really well though because it's an illusionist deck, they, these have a air cushion finish on them. So they spread pretty well. Which you'd expect because all of them pretty much do. That you get from the site. So yeah. Pretty good deck overall. I haven't really used it much because I try not to use my new decks too much, even though these are actually not new. I got them new, but I don't use them much because I don't like to ruin good cards. I usually use my poker cards or something like that because I don't care if they get damaged much because they're not that expensive, but seven, six, eight dollar cards, I don't really want to ruin but yeah they handle fine There's nothing wrong with them they don't clunk up yeah they fan out pretty well yeah that's pretty much it I'd say out of 10 I'd give these cards a 9 not a 10 because I don't think they're that much further than a regular bicycle deck. Here's Ace of Spades, by the way. You'll see that the Ace actually looks different. The spades is around, it's not under the Ace. Yep, yeah. 9 out of 10, minus a point because 
really nothing crazy about it. It's pretty much just a bicycle deck white on black. Except for the ace of spades which looks different and the red pips. And that's it for this deck. I still have a review coming for... I already did... Black Arcanes is already up. Just did White Ghosts. I'll be doing the Bicycle Series 1800s and the Tally Hill Vipers, which I just got today. And probably nothing on those because they're average cards. These are all illusionist cards right here. Alright, so that's it. See you.